Hey guys! So, um, this video, ignore this on my face. I've been breaking out really bad all week. Um, super annoying. But anyways, and the heat wave's over by the way, but it's still super humid and hot. Like, it's in the 70s, but it feels like it's still in the 90s. But anyways, <laughs> okay, so this video... I went to Aldi today to do some grocery shopping for the week. It's Monday. Yes, I pre-record my videos. It is Monday. And I'm like, we needed water. We needed um, dinner tonight, which we're having hamburger helper. And I'm going to make um, biscuits. Um, they're like the the Grand's Biscuits, bi biscuits by Pillsbury, but they're the Aldi off brand. So I went to Aldi, um, got the things that I needed. And then I saw some things I haven't seen before that I was like, Ooh, I want to try that. And I thought, why not taste test with you guys? So if you have an Aldi in your area, you can see whether or not you want to buy these items as well. So I have my receipt here and I'm just going to show you what I got first, tell you what I paid for them, and then we'll try them together. So the first thing, this wasn't the first thing that caught my eye. Maybe I should start with the first thing that caught my eye. The first thing, there was this um, whole back wall of specially selected brand items. And I was going through all of them and I was like, ooh, that looks good, that looks good, that looks good. First thing that caught my eye was olives. These are um, feta cheese stuffed olives. I love feta cheese. I love olives, green and black and Greek and every kind of olive. The only olive I don't like is those, they're black olives, but they're almost like drained of their juices. So they're super wrinkled and they're like really bitter. Not a fan of those, but I love the Greek olives that are like, that have the pit in the middle and that are smooth. Um, those are really good. Um, so these were $2.98 for this jar, and it's a 12-ounce jar. Not bad. Then I saw this mustard. I am obsessed with mustard, and this is sweet mustard. It kind of, like, reminds me of the look of, like, Grey Poupon mustard. So I'm excited to try this. And if it's really good, I'm going to be putting it on my sandwich for lunch today. I've not eaten yet today. Skip breakfast <laughs> because I had grocery shopping to do. I had packages to mail. I had prescriptions to pick up. Um, and I had to pick up some spray paint for a cup. So, yeah, I just got home. But this is a 13.65 ounce jar. And this mustard was $2.99. Not bad. And I got these to go with the mustard when we try this together. And I dropped it. Same brand, same wall. These are sea salt and olive oil Italian breadsticks. And I probably just broke them because I dropped them on the ground. These are 4.41 ounces, and these were, I believe, $1.99. Yes, these are $1.99. Then I was doing some more shopping, and I found this. I have not been looking for these, but I have been looking for, they don't have them at Aldi. I haven't really been looking for them. I've been wanting to try them ever since I saw, I don't know if any of you watch TikTok and have seen the TikTok mustard and cottage cheese lady where she has this just like plate of vegetables, mostly raw vegetables and just, and fruits and dips them in the, um, cottage cheese and mustard. I've been wanting to try that so bad because every time I see it, I'm super hungry and I'm like, that looks really good. Except for the raw broccoli. I'm not a fan of raw broccoli. I would probably switch it with something else, but she always has heart hearts of palm and they're these really long, like tube looking things and they're soft and they look delicious. So I am on a mission to try to find hearts of palm, but did not find any at Aldi, but I did find artichoke hearts, which um, I love um, 
spinach and artichoke dip. So I wanted to try these two because I heard hearts of palm with similar flavor to artichoke heart. So I bought this. This is Tuscan garden quartered marinated artichoke hearts. And this is 12 ounces. And this was a little bit more pricey. This was, oh no, maybe not. This was $2.59. So I'm excited to try those. Then I found this whole wall of pumpkin spice stuff. I am not a huge pumpkin spice fan, but when it comes to the season of fall and they have the pumpkin spice stuff out, I do grab some things. So I have never tried these before. They probably have them every year, but I don't buy Oreos all that often. I usually buy off-brand, but it caught my eye and I wanted to try it. So this is the pumpkin spice flavored Oreos. Now these were pricey. These were $4.58 and this is just a regular size pack. This is not the family size pack. Then I saw this that I wanted to try. And this is Simply Nature brand. This is pumpkin applesauce. Really excited to try that. This was um, $1.95. And then, whoop, this wasn't pumpkin spice flavored. This is snickerdoodle spice flavored. So they had pumpkin spice and they had snickerdoodle. And I was like, I want to try the snickerdoodle. I love almonds. I love flavored almonds. So this is a 14 ounce bag of snickerdoodle spiced almonds by Southern Grove. And these were the most expensive. These were $5.79. And then on my way out, I kept passing these and I was like, I really want to try them. Not to mention they're glass. I can save these cups when I'm done and use them for other things. So this is again, specially selected brand and this is chocolate desserts and they're a two pack of mousse cups. So I'm just going to try a bite of these. I'm going to put the lid back on and save them for after my lunch or after my dinner. Don't know which, but I'm just going to taste these with you guys, but not eat the whole thing. Um, and this was $3 and 79 cents. So let's get into tasting things. So I'm going to start with the olives. I'm going to start with like the salty stuff. Sniff test. They smell really, really good. I think I've had blue cheese stuffed olives, but never feta. Mmm. That is so good. I love olives. I love feta cheese. And together, they're extremely delicious. <laughs> so next up, I'm going to open these breadsticks because I am going to dip them into the mustard. All right, sniff test. Ooh, that smells so good. It smells like spicy brown, but with a little bit of sweetness to it. All right, so here's the breadsticks. Dip that. Get a good dip. Mmm. Yep. Whoop. This is going on my sandwich for lunch. After this video, I bought some Lebanon, Lebanon bologna, and I always put mustard on it. Mmm. So good. And the breadsticks are good too. I mean, they just taste like regular breadsticks. But for $2, that's a pretty nice snack. But so far, we're three for three. They're all tasting pretty good. So next up, we're going to try the artichoke hearts. Sniff test. That actually smells really good. Let me get a fork. Okay. Get a good bite. Oh, that is really good. So the flavor, it's 
kind of like salad dressing, like an olive oil, like a very big oil-based sa salad dressing, like almost Italian, but not quite as strong. Mmm. And the artichoke hearts are really soft. And they taste really good. I've heard people say that the artichoke hearts are bitter. But I did get marinated. These are the marinated ones. They had original ones that didn't have any marinade. I don't. I might like them. But they might not have a flavor, like kind of like avocado, how avocado is just so bland unless you mix, you know, spices and things with it. I feel like artichoke hearts would be the same. I really like the marinated. Um, I can't speak for the regular artichoke hearts, but definitely would recommend um, the Tuscan Garden marinated ones. They're really good and they're not super like overpowering with um, spices and stuff, so... Those are really good. All right. On to, should we try the applesauce next? Let's do the applesauce. Okay. I've got my spoon. We're going to just open it up. There's a little hedgehog on the front too. Look how cute he is. Sniff test. Oh, I don't know if I like the smell of that. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's tolerable, but definitely not my favorite. Probably I will finish these. I don't think my kids would eat them, but um, I don't think I would be buying it again. So they're okay, but I don't think that I would recommend these. So this is the first thing that I don't think I would recommend eating. All right. Next up, let's do the almonds. We'll do the two desserts last. Oh, I have to. Oh, no, no, no. Sniff test. Those smell really good. Oh, my gosh. Okay. They're very, very packed with flavor. Oh my gosh. It's not even like you're eating an almond. You don't, it doesn't feel like you're eating something healthy. It definitely feels like you're eating a piece of candy with an almond in the middle. Mmm. I would recommend these. These are delicious. So these are on the pricey side, but they're totally worth it. And I feel like a bag of almonds this big, even without the spices on it, would be about the same price. So definitely if you're into fall flavors, I would try this. I don't know what the pumpkin spice would taste like, but the snickerdoodle, mm, that's where it's at. <laughs> All right, let's try the pumpkin Oreos. I'm hoping these are good because I love Oreos. Sniff test. They smell like pumpkin. Oh, they smell good. Oh, are these double stuffed? I think these are. They look double stuffed because look. All right, this is how I eat an Oreo, by the way, but maybe I should eat it normal for you guys. Mmm, okay, those are good. These are really good. Okay, I would recommend these. Definitely. Mm. Those are really good. All right, so I grabbed my spoon that I use for the applesauce. This is the little 
dessert mousse cup. That's like hard chocolate on the top almost. So I'm going to go down the side and just get a good mixture of everything on my spoon. Mmm. Oh my God. That is amazing. If you're a chocolate lover like me, they're a bit pricey. Totally worth it. And you can use the, these are glass. So you can wash these, reuse these for like tea light candles. I can wash these and decorate them for Halloween and put little tea lights in them. Maybe I'll grab a couple more of these. They have caramel flavor too. And I can DIY with these. The gears are always turning in my head, you guys. My crafty side has been awoken this year. And everything I look at turns into a craft for me. But anyways, I am definitely, I don't know if I can wait until dessert after dinner for this. So I might, I might make up a lunch dessert and finish that after I eat my lunch. But now that I've tried everything, I'm super hungry and I'm ready for lunch. So I'm going to go eat, but I hope you guys enjoyed this and enjoyed taste testing things with me because I had fun. And I hope you guys go to Aldi's and buy some of these things and try them yourselves because Except for the pumpkin spice applesauce, everything was just delicious. But that is everything for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and have an awesome day. Bye!